there's no other place you can go that will uh, honor your language, honor your traditions, your traditional values. There's no other place like this. <laughs> I learned those from my, my uncles and grandpas when I was going to uh, meetings when I was younger. I kind of knew them for a little while. You get a little nervous up there? Yeah, I was <laughs> sweating. I was sweating. <laughs> you were sweating? Yeah. <laughs> How do you think you did? I think I did all right. And then next year, we'd be better. I'm taking a Cherokee class for the past two years, and uh, my teacher, Mr. Foster, he encouraged me to come out here and see what his uh, Indian tribe is about and uh, to get to know the culture better. So uh, I took time out and come out here and see what it's like. You know, it's cool, you know, coming from being a kid from the Bahamas, you never even thought of there's language like this, you know. So just coming here, and this is a good, great experience to me, and uh, just hearing the different how they talk and how they speak and how they have different, you know, different uh, articulations on their words. Uh, Seems cool and uh, makes you want to like, you know, get deep in it, but uh, I wish I had a lot, a lot of time on my hands to do that, but I really don't. When you give them something like this where they can come to and, and express themselves in their traditional language, and this is the only thing that keeps them in connection with their uh, heritage.